All right, hey guys, here we have a 52 inch Hunter Studio Series remote in polished brass. I picked up two of these at Goodwill yesterday for $10 each. Um, I've had some very good luck at this Goodwill. This is actually the third Studio Series I have bought from there. I bought an antique brass one a while back for 15, no remote though, so not an operational because I don't, I don't, I didn't have any other remotes, I should say. Now I have two because each fan came with its own remote, 100% complete. Um, they're in pretty good condition, um, physically, mechanically, not so much. Um, and even physically, they're not that great because um, at least the walnut side is kind of faded. Not faded, but it's almost like it didn't get enough color if that makes sense. Um, three, of the four, three of the five blades, my bad. Three of the five blades are faded and then two of them are kind of a rich, like the rich cherry color that they're supposed to be. Uh, the two on the right and the back one are the kind of faded ones. Also, the vents are pretty torn up. The fan got heavy use throughout its life. Um, it also has this beautiful genuine Hunter light kit with five candelabra based bulbs. Uh, these are not the bulbs that are supposed to be in there, but that's just what it came with. Um, bearings are very stiff, so just fair warning there. Alright, let's start the light. There we go. Now these are not the bulbs that are supposed to come with it. This is just what it has. It looks really nice. I just, you know, they're actually touching. And let's see. Let's see how how much light this gives off. All right, so that's not that's not too bad. I mean, you can kind of get a general idea. I mean, it's not real bright. I don't know what size bulbs are in there. I'd say maybe 25 watt. Um, yeah, let's go to low. I don't know if it caught that. For some reason, when I go to low, it um goes back and forth between low reverse and forward so it kind of bobs back and forth <clears throat> not sure why that is let's, uh, let's play it for light a little more because I know these are dimmable oh, so that wasn't even full brightness ooh The fan just turn off? Where the heck did that happen? That's weird. Remote's a little, little finicky, so it doesn't always like to work. All right, let's go to medium. One thing that I don't like about fan, like certain fans, is that you don't get a relay sound. Um, so you never really know if it changes. Like the Victorian in my front room, you know, obviously they beep, so that's how you know. But it also has like the relay sound. I think that's kind of a nice feature to have on fans. All right, getting a good breeze on medium. Even though that's not full speed, that's probably closer to, that's like in between medium and low. Go to high. And as you can tell, the bearings are absolutely shot. I don't know if there's going to be any saving those. Sounds like it's the 
bottom one. Pretty fast. There we go. And as you can see when I reverse it, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Kind of has like a relay sound. Yeah, you kind of have to hold down the button for it to fully get the signal because um, the actual wire up top, the receiving wire, if, I'm not really sure what you'd call it, but that's just what I'm going to call it. There's like a little wire that goes on top of the switch housing that receives the signal, and that got mangled somehow, maybe balloons or something. Go to low reverse. Uh, it is kind of the finish. Is, the finish is actually kind of dirty, but it's not pitted, which is nice. And the blades, aside from you know little paint splotches in that one, um, there's a line on there too. You I hit reverse. My bad. Go to medium. I don't know if yeah, I got it. Yeah, aside from that, the blades are in good shape. It's just they're not colored how they're supposed to be. That's the only downside. My parents don't really like the light kit on this either. They think they think it's ugly, which I can kind of agree with them. I kind of like it because it looks like a chandelier without making it look like it came right off of a chandelier. Like, you can kind of tell that it was made for a fan. Go to high. See, I don't. I never know if it went to high. You just kind of have to hold it down and assume. Man, that sounds awful. Alright, so there's one of two 52-inch Hunter Studio Series remotes. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.